Lord of the Rings Online, the MMO based in Tolkien's world, has seen a wild spike in popularity and in player count growth over the past few days, with queue times growing as Standing Stone Games Unleashed Update 33 that brought six years of Lord of the Rings Online content to players for free. You see, in the past, you would be required to buy several expansion packs as you leveled up, and this ceiling in the Lord of the Rings Online MMORPG really kind of handled hampered people's desires to keep playing and moving up in levels knowing that they had to spend hundreds of dollars to make it to max level. Finally, now you can hop on and claim all these expansions as part of the Lord of the Rings Online 15th Anniversary. All the expansions for, for free players includes Mines of Moria, Siege of Mirkwood, Rise of Isengard, Riders of Rohan, and Helm's Deep permanently for free, which gives you content all the way up to level 95 before you will have to worry about catching up with the other expansions. But I got more more good news about that in a moment. This is a fantastic deal and made even better by the fact that this isn't just a deal just for the VIP members. This is a deal for everyone, meaning you have hundreds of hours you can pour into Lord of the Rings Online and into Middle Earth before you have to spend a single cent. And it's not just the expansions. You get the Bjorning, Runekeeper, and Warden classes, as well as the High Elf race as well, all for free. This makes Lord of the Rings Online, at the very least, one of the greatest MMO deals out there for anybody looking for a free-to-play MMORPG title. As if all of this isn't exciting enough, there are also gifts in the form of in-game items like boosts, tokens, writing tray, mithril coins, a pet, an exclusive mount, and more. Now, to get these in-game items, though, you will need to log in during this event. The event is going on right now at the time of this recording and runs all the way through until May 12th, 2022. So make sure you go get all of the in-game game freebies. Now that's still not all though, because if you are a VIP, you get an even better deal, which by the way, being VIP just means you are paying for their monthly subscription, and it comes with even more expansions. Mordor, Minas Morgul, and War of the Three Peaks. And for logging in during the event, VIP members will also receive a Starlight Cloak, Hooded Starlight Cloak, and a Light Weapon Aura across your entire account. On top of all of this, and more, there is an event that as soon as you log in during this time frame, you will get an invite to which there is an instance for fireworks to celebrate 15 years of Lord of the Rings Online. Once in an instance, there's, you know, a lot of people also in the instance with you. Now, the expansions are unlocked for life. Of course, for the VIP rewards, and to get all those expansions, you will need to have the VIP status active to get the extra expansions when you're trying to access them. But in-game items are only available until May 12th, 2022. So this has players just kind of piling in on the servers with Q times, sometimes in peak times, over 3,000 being recorded. And I know that sounds bad, like, oh my god, Q times. But that means that the game is absolutely thriving right now. Now, how many people actually stick around? Hopefully a enough. Lord of the Rings Online's always had a good, steady player base, but it would be really cool if this kind of revitalized Middle Earth for Lord of the Rings Online because it is a really good MMO. Also, basically what this means, in other words, it's a wonderful time to get sucked into the Lord of the Rings Online's Middle Earth and enjoy Tolkien's world in the best way to digitally experience it, which in my and many others' opinion is right here in this MMORPG. You can quest and adventure across all the areas from the books and have interactions with all the characters from the stories, and there really is something absolutely magical about seeing places such as the Shire, or walking into the Prancing Pony yourself. That absolutely is a nerd's dream come true. Some people go to Disney World and get excited, and others like me are super nerds, and we go to Lord of the Rings Online's Middle Earth, and we get all giddy. Coming up in June, I, will, I would like to also announce that I will be going full-time and plan for Lord of the Rings Online to be a regular game that I play and stream, as long as I get support from the community to continue doing that, of course. So I hope you'll join me for that. And speaking of me going full-time YouTube in June, I could really use your support to make it a reality, and there are many ways to do so. First up, of course, is joining the channel to support this channel financially for as low as $1.99 per month. I do have to eat after all and get exclusive content for doing so. Or check out the Napalm Loot Store down below for merchandise. Or by simply watching, hitting that like button on my videos, and subscribing to the channel. And speaking of which, before we finish up talking about Lord of the Rings Online, let's hear about the members of Napalm. Real quick before we continue, I want to give a major shout out to the members of Napalm. Thanks to their contributions, I can get the equipment and 
and gear that I need to keep this channel ticking, covering MMOs, RPGs, and of course, puppets. If you're interested in becoming a member of Napalm, please click the join button down below. It would be greatly appreciated. And a very special major shout out to the Lords of Napalm. Bounty Code, We Toke Bitcoins, Jared Woodhouse, Dimelos, and Farthest Reach. Thank you for your highest tier membership. Now onto the video. Now does all these freebies and rewards to VIP and hundreds upon hundreds of hours of content make Lord of the Rings Online the best free to play MMO in 2022? I think it does because it is a place that you are familiar with from the books, from the movies. It's freaking Middle Earth and it's a solid MMO with the kind of excitement that not many other IPs can compete with because it's freaking Middle Earth. It has public dungeons, instant dungeons, epic raids, a huge explorable world, packed full of some of the best writing you could ever find in an MMO and an awesome community playing it. If you've never given it a shot, it is absolutely worth your time and can scratch much of your MMO addiction needs. It gets regular content updates and is going on 15 years old with graphics that are passable even in 2022, at least in my opinion anyway. And need I say it again, it's freaking Middle Earth. I've been a bit more reserved about Lord of the Rings Online in the past due to the kind of big paywalls of hitting the expensive expansion packs, but now with the service removing those shackles, it really is a great time to enjoy Lord of the Rings Online and dive into this MMORPG. And you have nothing to lose since you have so much content to wade through before you even need to spend any money. So why not jump in, give it a shot, and see if it is the MMO for you, or at least tide you over while you wait for the MMO that is for you. But now for the really important part, your thoughts and your comments. So head to the comments and let me know what you think, your experiences with Lord of the Rings Online, if you've played played it before, your thoughts on these updates, or if you've never played before and plan on jumping in now, or why you don't want to jump in now. Let me know all that and more in the comments down below, and if you could be so kind as to help me fight the Sauron of YouTube, the all-seeing algorithm by hitting that like button so hard that Frodo drops the ring in the pits of Mount Doom. And subscribe if you enjoy MMO and RPG content because that's what we do here. And until next time my friends, God bless and happy gaming.